It is a crisis in the United States. More people are dying from unintentional drug overdoses than ever before. And a new study shows the tolls drugs are taking on young people by measuring how many years of life they've lost. Tonight, we take a closer look at the eye-opening research and why ways that we help adults with addiction may not be enough for our young people. The unintentional drug overdose epidemic continues to sweep across the U.S. Up until now, researchers say much of the focus has been on adults battling addiction. The problem of drug overdose amongst adolescents and young people has been overlooked. That's the motivation behind a study published in JAMA Pediatrics. Researchers wanted to understand the impact of unintentional overdoses on young people. So we counted years of life lost, which is just the number of years adolescents and young people would have had, had they had full lives. Study co-author Dr. Trent Hall with Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center says the results were shocking. Looking at CDC unintentional overdose data from 2015 through 2019, the study says those between the ages of 10 and 19 have lost about 200,000 years of life. If the data is expanded to include people up to 24 years of age, there was a loss of about one and a quarter million years of life. We really need to do something about this. It's clear that there's a mortality crisis amongst adolescents and young people in the U.S. due to overdose. But Hall says many of these health interventions aimed at adults may be inadequate for younger Americans. That's why he says parents and teachers need to know the signs of substance abuse, talk about the risks, and consider getting a Narcan kit, which can help save a life if there's an overdose.